What is going on, guys? It is Andrew here from Green Mamba Gaming, and I'm here with part two of my game here, my first My Player game, my introduction video. Um, there's this guy just bombing threes. That's Lido, I believe. 35 28, beginning of the second half. I'm down, but you never know what could happen late in the game. You know, pretty resilient. I hit a game winner. A couple games ago, so you know, maybe something like that will happen, you know, maybe not, who knows. Anyway, so I said I'm going to be posting daily, um, I'm, this is just me keeping my promise, I'm going to be working on another My Player game coming up, and I'm thinking about starting a My Player NBA 2K14 series for you guys, if you would want to see that, that is. Leave in the comments section if you guys want to see that, or some more Madden 25 from good old Kevin. And uh, we'll gladly, gladly post that up on the channel. I know right now that the only people that have posted really are Kevin and I. But I assure you that more videos are on the way. They're just working on some stuff, working out some kinks. And um, a montage is on the way. So get ready for that. Also, a uh, little shout out here. I have another channel I want you guys to check out. This is... Mere Depth Sniping, that's Habib, he's probably going to be posting some gameplays, I think a few of the clips in the montage are actually his, he's a good sniper, so you, should, you guys should check out his videos, or video, unless he's posted anything else, um, but I'm sure he's going to become pretty dedicated, so watch out for that. Also, um, another channel that uh, we want to highlight here is GMDG Productions, I hope I got that right, I think I did. Um, that's our friends Matt and Greg and Matt's little brother Drew. They make, uh, gaming videos too, montages, and mostly Call of Duty and stuff, so you guys should go, or I think all Call of Duty actually, but it's some good gameplays. Go check it out. They're really, really solid. Um, I think I mentioned in the last video that I used to be in a channel called Advanced Optics, and Greg was actually a big part of that channel. He used to post some, uh, some Call of Duty gameplays back when we had the old non-HD video capture things, the old Roxios, the bad ones. But, yeah, back in the olden days, we were... The olden days. <laughs> back in, uh, seventh grade, I guess I would say, um, we used to post videos together. So, yeah, check that out. There's me with, I think that was Shabazz Muhammad bombing a three, and here I am with Shabazz again. Nope. Who's that? Yep, I made that. That was Thabo Cephalosha. I think he... Yeah, there he is. He's bombing it, as you can see. He just went off in this game. I thought he went off last time, but I don't know. I think he had like 12 or so points, something like that. But he hit like four threes, like three in a row. He was just being a beast. So if you guys get Thabo Cephalosha and you can figure out his shot, I know it took me a long time, as I said earlier. But if you can figure out his shot, he's a really, really good three-point shooter. There we go with Ty Lawson. He's just killing it. He's a bomber. I've got like... Let me think about this. I've got Ty Lawson can bomb threes. Paul Pierce, when he's feeling good, can bomb threes. Feeling good. When I've got his release down, he can bomb threes. Thabo Cephalosha can bomb threes. Um, Ray Allen. Chris Bosh occasionally can actually hit threes moderately well. And Shabazz Muhammad. I've got a lot of three-point shooters. Um, and I've actually been moderately successful because of my three-point shooters. I know I'm down in this game. A little bit of a little bit of a blot as the third quarter comes to a close. Yeah, he missed that shot. Look at this. Oh, my God. I tried to press Y to go for the block, but I just missed it. So a pointless little foul to waste some time, I guess. But he misses the last shot anyway, so it's all right. And this is the beginning of the fourth quarter. I'm down here by a solid amount, and we'll see if I can come back. Um, I don't quite remember what I do here. It's been a little while since I played this game. Um, I'm going to try to get some live comms up for you for this game, so you can actually hear my reactions as I'm playing. Who was that? Was that Shabazz? Yep, that Shabazz had like 15 in this game. Shabazz is a beast. You guys need to get Shabazz. If you play my player, or uh, my team, my bad. If you play my team, and you want a cheap, cheap player, I guess because he wouldn't be much VC at all in, in his pack. I'm not sure who he plays for. I haven't, I don't really remember. But I'm sure that he's not a ton of VC. Um, you know, try to take a chance on his pack and try to get him because he's so good. He's so worth it. He carried my team. Before I got 
Ty Lawson, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Chris Bosh, Serge Ibaka. Before I got them, um, Shabazz would score me 25 or 30 a game with like four threes. You guys need to get him. He's such a beast. He's a little bit inconsistent, but his release is sweet, as I said. So you got to you gotta get a hold of that. There's Ray bombing a three. He was kind of bad in this game. He hit me uh, a couple threes, but, you know, not as many as I would like. He usually scores something like seven or eight threes a game. Keep in mind, I only shoot threes with him. I don't shoot anything else with Ray Allen because Ray Allen can't really do a ton more than shoot threes. He's really good at it. I'll give him that. You know, he holds the record. But other than threes, he's not really good for much. Um, I suppose he's a, in, in real life, he's, he has some finesse. He can he can get some, some step backs, and he had that clutch shot. I think the best shot that I've seen in my lifetime, at least, was the, uh, the Game 6 finals shot that he made i knew after that shot was made as much as i wanted the spurs to come back and win that i knew they weren't i mean the heat were down by like five with like 27 seconds left and they rallied from that like that mm, the spurs were depleted that was that i know that if tim duncan had hit that bunny in the end of game seven they would have tied up the game gone to overtime and won it like i wanted but what are you going to do? Um, at least this year, they're still good. The Spurs seem to always be good, even when they're old. I don't understand that. People always seem to write them off at the beginning of the year or at the end of every year when they get eliminated from the playoffs. People always say, mm, the Spurs are too old. They're injured. They're not going to last. But Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, and Tim Duncan have lasted. And now they have Kawhi Leonard. And I don't think they kept Danny Green. I don't remember where he went, but I don't think he's a Spur anymore. Um, but yeah, Kawhi Leonard, that reminds me, Kawhi Leonard's release is really sweet, really easy to use, and I think I'm, I'm going to try and get him. I've been using him in a lot of, uh, just one-on-one -on -one games with my friends, uh, with 2K14, and he's, he's, he's so much fun to use. There's Ray Allen missing a three. This is just me shooting up desperation shots at this point. A minute 45, roughly, in the fourth quarter, I'm down by 10. It's not looking good here, guys, but I did say, good or bad, I was going to post the game. So, I'm I'm sure that this game, I, I'm sure that at this point, you know how this game is going to end. Uh, not in my favor. Um, unfortunately, I don't go on a 10-point run here with a minute 30 left, but maybe next time, right? I think this guy may miss a free throw. I don't know. But other than that, when this guy went to the line, it was pretty much concluded. I knew that. Um, yeah, he misses a free throw. Uh, you know, if Paul Pierce had hit his shots and I had played better D, I would have would have won this game. Paul Pierce, I don't think, had a single point. He's such a bust for me. He doesn't get anything. He doesn't do anything right. <laughs> I know that sounds harsh. Because, I mean, he can be productive, but I just can't seem to get his release down. I blame myself. I don't blame Paul Pierce. Virtual Paul Pierce is not the problem. I am. All right, guys. Um, so I think I'm going to head out now. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, I'm going to make sure to post a video to Game Vault coming up soon. Once I do, I'll put the, uh, put the channel in the description so you guys can check out that channel. If you want to go back and take a trip down memory lane, check out Advanced Optics. One word. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Three-pointer, Lawson. Bosch against Jones. Allen, left side. And again, Washington, no good. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over the court. Yeah, it sure does, Clark. And look at the assist totals. They're piling up. I mean, this has been a, a nice game execution-wise for this club. Boy, you relish these sorts of road games where you come in and you get the job done. And a long schedule with the kinds of pressure of travel and tough opponents throughout the season, it's always good when you play a game like they have here. And so Chicago takes this one and by a bit.